Wow. So that was probably the worst conversation that I've had with anyone in the past, uh, I'd have to say, I don't know, oh my God, two years. The last time I had this kind of terrible feeling after a conversation, this just, it's not gonna end here. The, just the thing where the person leaves you with, well, good luck with what I just gave you, you know, get help, get well. But we just texted like for seven hours and you, you still haven't answered any of my questions. Like, but you've driven me to insanity. You can't do that. That's not fair. That's, that shouldn't be allowed, people. But she did it. Yeah, she did it hard, and she did it good, and she did it well. Because, of course, that's going to hurt me, because my doctor was on the other line, and it hurts his feelings. Because right when I told her, well, yeah, the doctor's listening, of course, what kind of help? Because she said, go get help, and I said, well, the doctor's listening, he wants to know what kind of help are you talking about? And she's like, all of a sudden, what? How is he even like, she's not believing me, right? What do you mean? What? How can he be listening? And I'm like, well, I played it for him yesterday. You see, because we were texting. But I think she suddenly thought we were on the phone. I mean, she's weird like that. They probably did that. She was probably talking to one person, and, you know, she got confused. So I'm thinking about it. So I'm sure she got confused, and uh, <laughs> anyways, so everything I wrote to her, I mean, some of it was supposed to be, you know, quirky and ironical and, and kind of pissed off, but most of it, I was just trying to be like, just say the three words, right? And she won't do it. She won't be freedom of speech. After totally cutting into my speech, not letting me speak freely, cutting in, telling me to reel things in, squelching things, correcting grammar, just, it won't stop. And I'm like, let me just say the thing. And then she lets me say the thing and she reads it and then writes back something that doesn't, it's not me. It had nothing to do with the thing, but it's evil. And it's all connected. She's like, how dare you say this? Whoa. I never said that. How did you, how do you even read that, right? That's, that's what my doctor said. He looked, he goes, but where did she read that? It's not in there, dude. I'm like, I know. And then she just slams one, and it's this stuff that hurts, really hurts, because it's close enough, right? It wasn't like mine, where it's the actual truth. Here it's the, well, it's kind of close, but then it's a little far away, you know, because I've been away. And then there's stuff like, well, she can't actually prove anything. So she'll just go with old school, like, but you were always like this, and you did this once, right? And I, I said, you said we couldn't do that. I tried that yesterday. You squelched me. You said that was me. And now you're doing it, right? And she kept being like, don't have me shut up, and you're, you shut up. And I said, but the last thing I just said, I told you it's freedom of speech, and you're taking it from me. And she's like, how dare you? Uh, my mom and, uh, and my grandparents, you know, they were the rescued from the Nazis. And I'm like, no, you are on a cult with your mom. She she would have told me if, if you guys, I mean, it's just it, nothing. They said she would have told me. Not only that, you, there, you don't have Holocaust in you. Uh, you Ingrid, that's your name. And then, you know, you your mom is from Ohio. Do you know what I mean? It's all, wait a minute, what grandma? She's talking way back. But I'm talking my grandma, I'm talking my mama. My mama, like her mama, was with her, you know. She had a kid, no, she did. She had him here. But back there, she's with her grandma. So if my mama says to me, yeah, 
I was a kid and my, with your grandparents. And we came over here and, and there were some Holocaust moments. She can say that. But her mama and her grandparents, I mean, I mean, her grandparents weren't with her mama. If her grandparents got through the Holocaust, it was not with her mama. So that came later. So I guess, I guess I thought my lineage should be closer. And maybe she thought, oh, he's saying this. I wasn't saying that. That's unfortunate. So it was one misunderstanding after another until I finally go, you know, I apologize. I go, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. But, uh, you know, I'm worried my daughter might be autistic. She does not answer that one. She says, you know, you're a bad father. And I go, well, I know. But, um, you know, that's my bit. That's what I'm supposed to be. That's I, You can't top that. What, what else are you going to do? And my grandma is the closest thing to a Jewish grandmother. So that's, that's the guilt. But see, she must not get any of that. See, uh, somebody who, whose grandparents... Or went through the Holocaust, they would get it. They'd be like, oh, she acts like this. She, lots of guilt. And she's not getting it. She's not seeing it. But she was repeating my mom verbatim everywhere. How do you deal with people like this? Because they tell you something like, she's saying, no, I'm not. Like your mom. And I think I, she could say, no, if I said you're so much like your mother, then I think she could say that I am not. And I'd be like, well, you know better because you guys, you know, we're on a cult and you grew up in a car together. I'm not saying that like I grew up in a car too. So don't, don't think it. Well, I mean, yeah, most of the time we were escaping my, you know, my dad. So there were moments in the car and living in the car and then coming back and then leaving again. And leaving. It, was, it was camping. So when I say it, I'm not, I was always, I loved that part. I would be like, put it in your bio, right? She put it in her bio. But here, it's like everything I say, it's like she thinks I'm a racist now. I, I was like, well, when you said that you didn't care about the amendments in the Constitution, I mean, not only did it hurt my feelings, because it's my job now and I'm really into it, but I feel like my grandfather and people on your husband's side because he told me he has like a hundred people in his family right now right it's that kind of family the latino right and i know they got problems and if any of them married you know a occasionally deranged person of the nigerian descent no no a black person because black and white are not colored they're not colored so you can't say i'm colored like you're bill cosby it's not going to work anymore, people. It didn't work. All your censorship. So I'm saying people are black. I'm going to say I'm a white cracker. And I can say that First Amendment. White cracker lives matter just like the black crackers matter. We love each other. We're not colors. What are you going to do? Be, we can be blacker. We can be whiter. No, the blacks can come in and totally make us become black. I don't know if whites we can come in and and change that i don't know that in paint i would have to experiment but i think it just it just becomes gray right it's just all gray stuff gray matter right was that breaking bad yeah gray matter so anyways i'm feeling better i talked to you you can hear i calm down you missed the one where it's oh my god oh my god oh my god that's i when i first tried to make a recording all I had going through my head was my doctor uh, this is the last thing I wrote to her my doctor would like to know you know what did you mean by help right my doctor he's he's heard the phone call he's seen Zanti's text you're saying well better go get help after this whole conversation about my daughter and my fathership right i messed everything up she wasn't going to get into school and i was like but i told her i wrote you said you wrote i read all her texts it says in there you don't have to you don't have to do this thing it's online there's no my lawyer says like all these things i didn't know what else to do 
to get her to just can you just read look I'll do what you want okay since you don't want to just listen to me but you keep yelling at me in this way you keep hi you know uppercasing it and I'm like please don't uppercase like I'm feeling abused here aggressed she's not getting it what do you mean what what did I do Jesus Christ right these things I'm just like but I don't like it when you say that you know it's like it doesn't sound good on you it doesn't sound good on me unless we're like method acting something and then I get it but she's writing it out in uppercase after I've asked her, hey, I don't like people doing uppercase. I feel like I'm being yelled at. I just keep repeating these things like, you're aggressing me. I'm writing things. You're not, you're not listening to me. This, please go read the First Amendment. Right? You know what I mean? Just give me the right to the speech space. At least read it. Or I won't do anything. And the mom goes like, Oh, I was just trying to help. It's like that. It starts out like that. You think, oh, help me help you do something for your daughter, right? Without messing it up. You haven't contacted her for two years and then we're back, right? But I did contact her. She doesn't respond to that. She doesn't respond to these things where she doesn't know what to say about the doctor. She didn't care about me. Do you know what I mean? She said, go get help. And I'm like, well, what kind of help? The doctor's like already heard your call and and it's like oh whoa like whoa and I'm like no let's back up to that other question you didn't answer that was also kind of personal it's like you can't just keep messing me up like that you can't bring people into my world when we were married that leave scars and then just think you're gonna like call now and then like to be like what happened well don't you remember two years ago like what I said to you before, you know, I hung up. What did it matter, right? I told her, <laughs> since it didn't matter, I told her the truth, the thing I could remember, the thing that really annoyed me. You're using Bluetooth. You're using Bluetooth. It sounds terrible. It just, because the thing I was like, whoa, what just screeched in my ear? And she's like, oh, it's a podcast, right? That's when I learned to, oh, so you must be like talking to your, the people in the podcast, just like crazy. That's mean. It's not if you're doing it. It's news. It's newsworthy. And she didn't understand anything. She took one thing as racist. How dare you? The, and I was like, what? That meant I was on his side. That meant... She doesn't answer that. She doesn't go, well, okay, nothing. Not one apology. I apologized three times in, in what we did. Just backing it off. There. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to say it that way. The thing. And she just kept with the thing. Well, I just wanted to get this thing and you wouldn't give me that thing. And so you almost messed our plans up. You, always like that people that doesn't give us the impression that you care about us it gives us the impression that you just want to do what you want to do and you're doing it with our kid and you're thinking after like when I'm like sending her away and making the house impossible like nobody would let I mean my my, my brother-in-law or I guess you call it an ex-brother-in-law but he comes in and he's like, whoa, a social worker will never accept this. It was like, they'll never come in. The last social worker I chased out of there. They're too scared to come by. This is Santa Barbara. What are you guys talking about? Have you ever been out of the house, people? Have you ever been, like, in trouble with the police? Like, have you ever face-to-face -face just take one down inside your own house? If you haven't done it, then let's stop talking about you not going to read the amendments. Because it pisses us off because we got hurt, man. We don't care if you go starry. We want you to just know, whoa, don't you be like a cop. 
You talk like a cop. You ask questions like a cop. You're disbelieving like a cop. You're treating me like a criminal, like a cop. And you never stop. You never bend. Because you're doing these rules that you don't even understand. You don't like them. You're never going to do them, right? But it's the Constitution. You don't want to uphold, just be like stoic. 